Welcome back to Daybreak and the pride we see in the 716 was on full display on March 10th of this year. Do you remember what happened? Reminder to you, it was ranch dressing day and a tweet had Western New York red hot that day. Blasphemy, I tell you. Frank's red hot tweeted about them and being ranch, two peas in a pot with buffalo wings. First of all, they're wings. They're not buffalo wings, they're wings. This area code wasn't having any of it, though, and today the true blue hero of the story is having his day. In addition to being 716 day, it's Blue Cheese Day. So Kate Wellshofer caught up with the condiment for an exclusive interview. Stilton, Roquefort, Gorgonzola. A trifecta of terms for my guest today, one that has stood steadfastly by one of the most iconic foods of our time. And now he's stepping into the spotlight with his own national holiday. We thank you for being with us today, Mr. Cheese. And interpreting for you is one of your closest friends and colleagues, Wing King. Drew Serza, welcome to you as well, sir. Kate, thanks for having us. Let's talk about July 16th. Obviously notable. And we can all say we were here when it became National Blue Cheese Day and the latest inductee into the Buffalo Wing Hall of Fame. How does it feel? Lou says, some people say why, he says why not. Another unnamed dressing out there has had their day and he is very elated to represent his family of blue around the world. You didn't get here alone and I wanna say a few names to you. Chicken wing, carrot, celery. You're like brothers, you've always run as a pack. So tell me, how did Celery's recent retirement affect you? It was very emotional. Um, he's been known as the dip in the family. They're a very tight-knit family, and they do everything together, and they will never leave each other. Talk to me about taking the field on 716. Very humble, probably the humblest cheese you'll ever meet. It's not about blue that night. It's about all of Buffalo. These are Pete Gallivan's glasses. We have to talk about the controversy that erupted earlier this year when Frank's Red Hot suggested Okay. was a preferred accompaniment for chicken wings. How is your relationship with Frank's? <clears throat> it was one of the toughest days in Blue's life. However, because of it, his relationship with Frank's has never been better. And you have an intern with a new social media firm that just doesn't understand that Chicken wings and buffalo and blue cheese goes hand in hand, hand in hand. But the relationship's never been better, stronger, and will carry on and carry on forever. Right, Blue? Well, we appreciate your time and you're a noble cheese. Thank you, Kate. A noble cheese. Noble cheese. It's all about blue today. The electric tower is lit up blue for blue cheese today. And you can help celebrate blue cheese tonight at the Bison's game. He's racing, of course, along with carrot and chicken wing. He's also going to be inducted into the Buffalo Wing Hall of Flame. They're also having their <laughs> first ever ranch amnesty day at the ballpark tonight. So you can dispose of your unwanted ranch dressing to get it off the streets of Buffalo. Anyone who brings an unopened bottle or a non-perishable food item will get a free ticket to the game with the purchase of a ticket. And all that food is going to be donated to the Western New York Food Bank. And it all started with a tweet. It always does, doesn't it? You know, it just escalates. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, ranch is fine. Just stay in your lane. That's right. Salad, exactly. not chicken wings. Yeah, just stay out of the chicken wing. And if we game. told you you were coming here to do an interview with blue cheese, how would that make you feel? You okay? know what? At this point, I'm just not surprised <laughs> with no. anything, but it was great. Ask him but a noble questions. character. Yes, that's right. There you go. All right. Curry two on your side. Thanks very much, Kate. <laughs>